But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please let me know if you have any problem from your side. Uh, before we start today, I wanted to announce to you that today at night in New York time, 8 p.m., we are going to have uh, a debate between me and two Muslims uh, from Turkey, uh, Sheikh. So if you are interested, invite your friends. I'm sure it's going to be very interesting and uh, i would like to see people in the chat not making jokes about them i mean we don't want them to run away or use any excuse to run away so at 8 p.m new york time i don't know what is going to be in your time you can convert that to your time and you will find out what is exactly the time will be uh, and the debate will be is about muhammad is he a prophet or not so we will see how good they will be and I'm sure they will be very good and they will win as usual. So I invite your friends and I just created this way. Actually, I'm a little bit late on you. I just created the live streaming, the coming live streaming. This is the link. Don't forget uh, to subscribe in case you are not. And don't forget to turn off, uh, turn on your notification in YouTube, which is not working really. Uh, this is why I advise people to join us in Patreon because in Patreon always you will be notified uh, regardless of YouTube giving you a notification or not. Uh, guys, don't ask questions which doesn't make sense. What is UK time? Just ask yourself. Go to the computer now. Check what is the time now in, you, in, in New York, in your phone. You will find a different. Very easy. What is the time now in New York? It's going to show you, you know, what is the time. And then you will, you will decide, you know, exactly what is good for you all right uh, yeah so you know and after that feel free to download the the, the debate immediately and you can add it in like subtitle to it translation if you care uh, during the debate it's better to stop the chat it's okay we will keep it you know we have admins to maintain things you know you can make a comment but don't be like don't say stupid things you know like act like an adult who is sitting in a as if it's a physical debate you know like i mean i am there in the so just to speak as an adult don't make silly comment uh the topic today you know you notice i changed uh, the the thumb but the fact is the same topic it did not change anything you see, uh, uh, many Muslims do not uh, 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 let us say they think Islam is really a religion, and they think that the promise of Allah it's it's uh, you know not only it makes sense it is really amazing. Uh, but you cannot imagine really that there is a God. <clears throat> he have a place in the heaven. 
And this place in heaven have a special unique uh, feature. It's only for men, not for women. Even the thumb is like for men, for women. But because usually it's for women, you know, women who care for those things. But you believe it or not, according to Muhammad, there is a mole in the heaven of Allah where Muslims, Muhammad and men, not females, they go every Friday and Allah will do face lifting for them, body lifting, face lifting, and will make them so pretty. So you enter the mall and you don't look good. Every Friday. And then after you enter the mall, you go to the shoplifting face and body face, whatever, breast face, whatever you want to call it. Allah, he have his angels, they will start working with him. For sure, Allah is the biggest makeup maker, you know. He will start working in your face. And for sure, the Muslims, like, they will, grab, they will give him the tools, you know, the coloring, fixing, silicone, you know, they will put junction in your face and your nose and your toes. You know, I mean, it's a total, uh, you know, uh, makeup. In, uh, this is only for men. Now, a Muhammadan, he might say to you, Christian prince is a liar. This is absolutely false. It's not true. It's not even exist. How many Muslims will say in the chat, this is false? Who is a Muslim? He will say, this is false. Anyone? I'm, I'm keeping the picture because I don't want to vomit. You know, actually, one of the most, I, I believe, most one of the most sick things to see a man having makeup in his face for me. But, you know, people, they do things, crazy stuff. This is their personal life. But for me, I find it sick. But I cannot imagine that a God... Uh, he is going to have a stores, malls in the heaven. And the purpose of this mall is to make you pretty. Men. Brothers and sisters, do you see how Allah, he care for you? If Allah, he is like, you know, the God of the Christian, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, he don't care for you. You know, look how Allah, he is thinking about everything you need. First, you are a man. You need women. So Allah created for you women. You like their butt is one, like to be big. Allah will make their butt one mile. Even though like, if you ask me, I think two miles is better. Like one mile for the one in the, like the side and the right and one mile to the side and the left, that would be the perfect square, you know? Uh, like two by two, that would be even nicer, you know? Uh, but how, how a human being can believe that there is a God who is going to fix and do facelifting every Friday. And here, you know, I want to ask the Muslims, why every Friday? Does that mean like after one week, the silicone is going to like go flat? Hmm? Let us go to the hadith, because Muslim now they will say this is absolutely lie. And they might even say this is da'if. This is da'if, brother. This is da'if. You know, like Muhammad is da'if, Allah is da'if, Islam is da'if. And he is so da'if to the point, he fix your face every Friday and next Friday, nothing happened. You have to do it again. Read with me. The messenger of Allah, PPUH, this is kind of a chemical, you know, it's very acid. Uh, you know, sometimes it's acid, sometimes depend. 
in the agenda there is a market and you see I'm not the one who used the word mall it is what Muhammad said which people will come every Friday and here you ask yourself I mean do you see how nice Friday is every Friday and the northern wind will blow and shower frequency on their faces and clothes and will enhance their beauty and their loveliness <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy okay hmm. look at the high tech facility you enter the market and right away you are going to face a wind coming from the north and right away you will become so beautiful and right away you will be different. And you go back to your wife. This is the good part of it. Then they will return to their wives who also have increased in their beauty. So look, look, you see the wind hit you in the market, but the wind which hit you in the market is going to have effect when the wives who they are waiting at home because Muslim women they are going to be restrained and they cannot leave the house so now we have to find a solution we cannot take them to the saloon so we bring the saloon to them <laughs> you know Muhammad is a fraud Uh, he forgot that he said that a human being in heaven he will be always 33 years old and Allah will change your look when you enter so what the point of this makeup every every Friday and this is not makeup sorry I mean this is not like a makeup you put in the face no this is a total re facelifting body lifting fixing for you to be pretty and you see, I'm not the one who is using the word beauty. It is the Muslims and it is Muhammad. In the Quran, I mean, this guy Muhammad is really mentally ill. And obviously, he always forget what he said previously. Are we going to get older in the heaven of Allah? Look what Muhammad he said. The people of paradise are without body hair. You will be like a girl. Murdun, Murdun, Murdun. You know, like it's not only without body hair and like higher body. It's mean you are totally stripped from any manly hair. And you will have kohl. Kohl is an eyeliner. 
and their, their youth will never come to an end. Okay, so now let's compare. In the heaven, and if a Muslim, he says to me, he don't like this hadith, you know, uh, we are showing you, it's a Hassan, as you see. Hassan, brother, Hassan, is good. Hassan, you see, we are not showing you the Aif one. We are showing you Hassan. Hassan is one of the grandsons of Muhammad, which means good, good. Okay, don't tell me the Aif. So, you will be murdered, you will, it was uh, murdered, which means totally stripped from any hair in their body. Not like those. Those, they have a beard. You will not have anything, and you will not have eyebrows. And you will not have eyelashes. So what you will have? You will have an eyeliner to decorate your eyes. If we compare the two stories together, that you will be in heaven, and you enter the heaven, and you will have always around your eyes, kuhl, and in your age will never change, which means time will not affect your skin, your face, anything. So how in the world this bazaar here is functioning? People, do you understand what I'm saying? If I will be always the same person, and I will never get aged, and when you enter the heaven, there is different hadith where the angel Jibreel, he will give you a drink, two drink. Uh, one drink will make you tall like Adam, like an antenna, you know, like you drink the drink, like, did you watch the movie, it's called uh, Alice in the Wonderland, brother? <laughs> if you if you watch the video of uh, the Dean show, uh, the description of paradise, you will see the guy in the video, how excited he is. When you go to heaven, the angels will give you two drink. One will make you tall like Adam. And the other one will make you so white and it will make you 33 years old like Jesus. And you will be for eternity like this. And your clothes will never wrinkle. And the Quran even describing how the, uh, the, the eternity situation is. But here we notice that every Friday you are getting older. Every Friday, you need a facelifting, and Allah, He have to do saloon work for you. And look, this is continue. So, they will return to their wives, who will also have increase in their beauty and loveliness. And their family will say to them, look, look, look what the wife, she will say to you. You come to the, you know, like now Zakir Naik is entering the, the, the bedroom of his wives. You know, he have like a thousand wife waiting for him. He, he entered the door. Assalamu alaikum. The wife, she say, honey, who is this? I could not recognize you. First of all, let me tell you something. I went to the heaven of Allah and he went to the mall. And in the mall, they made safe lifting for me. Honey, they did not make faith lifting for you. They make third lifting for you, faith lifting for you, nose lifting for you, eyes lifting for you. And what do you have around your eyes? This is, first of all, alcohol. Alcohol in Arabic means uh, eyeliner. So, but this is very spit alcohol. It's like very, it's like it's safe for eternity. So if you wash your face, it doesn't come. So you can open your face and then stop, and all with the cold will be around you. Honey, right can you speak a little slower? Because this is really hard to understand. And stop spitting for the sake of Allah. First of all, behave yourself. You are my wife, and I can spit at you. Okay? Any question? Hey, honey, you look so good. So good to be true. Exactly. And Allah, he made me so beautiful. And now, I swear by Allah, 
that you have been increased in beauty. In levelness. Did you look at yourself at the mirror? What honey? What? Go look at yourself in the mirror. Not only me, I became pretty. Even you became pretty. What the heck? <laughs> this is heaven. This is God. If this is heaven and this is God, what is this stupidity? <laughs> and now look at the comment of the Muslim. They will say this is weak. <laughs> it is Muslim, you idiot. What weak? Sahih Muslim. What's wrong with you? If you remember in previous hadith, Muhammad he says that in the heaven there's a bazaar where you there is nothing but images of uh, of women and men. And if you like an image, you enter it to have boom boom with it. <laughs> so now if you are a person who like to have sex with men don't worry go to the mall if you are a person who like to be pretty peace be upon you huh go to the mall the mall of allah hey allah why you don't do it inside their houses i mean why they need to go to the market i mean aren't you god why they need to go to the market, man? If there is any Muslim here can like give us a reason really why there is a mall. Why in the mall? Is Allah like trying to promote something? Huh? Is Allah trying to make us believe in malls? Commercial, huh? The commercial, you know? And brother. Brothers and sisters. Allah will make you look so beautiful. Brother, take picture for yourself before and after. So you can see the differentiation and how Allah will fix your face, brother. I'm really, as a person who really thinking about uh, converting to Islam because Islam is so, so good to be true, uh, and I have a problem with my look, to be honest with you. So I'm thinking, why not? You know, I mean, it's time. Like, look, look at this. Look at this, brother. But here you have to take the mustache. You have to take the beard. You have to take the hair because he will be amrad. Zero hair in all his body. Arms, chest, face. Uh, you see the eyebrows? Those are fake, right? Those are fake. This is exactly what Allah will do to you. You will be amrad. Murudun. Murudun kuhlun. <sighs> Finally, my dream will come true. I shave in the morning. I have to shave in the... I, sh I take a shower before I sleep. I shave my beard. Not all of it. Like, you know, like second day, I have a bushes there. Just in eight hours, finally, the beard is gone. And it's a dream. It's a dream. How much this man can fool anyone? I mean, this is a, the most foolish promise, and it's disgusting, it's stupid. You see, what about promising men to be real men and the women to be real women? What they will be beautiful? What does that mean exactly? Do the women in heaven have a choice even to leave the husband? I mean, he will be pretty to who anyway? What does that mean exactly? Are we? And if all the men, they will look the same, so you will be pretty like what? I mean, everybody will be the same. All women, they will have the same face, the same name, the same skin, the same age. All men, they will look like Joseph as face. They will look like Adam as height. And they will have the age of Jesus. All of them. So what this beautification uh, party is about? And by the way, who's going to pay for it? <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you long, long here. Remember today at 8 p.m. New York time. At 8 p.m. New York time. 
we have a debate with two Muslims. Uh, uh, you know, like they will help each other, but one of them is the Sheikh who will speak to me. And uh, I think it's going to be very interesting. And for sure, the Muslim, they will have victory. And uh, as usual, the Muslim Islam never lose, by the way. Allah never lose. Allah support his followers. And this is why, you know, Islam, you know, makes sense. And everybody will convert to Islam at the end of the day. If you see the, the video on YouTube about the cat who said Shahada and the watermelon who say Allahu Akbar. And there's an egg, it says Muhammad. And there is a, a cabbage, it's saying, I believe in you. And there is a cucumber, it says, I love you. You know, Allah. So, I mean, every everything believe in Allah, as the Quran says, as Muhammad. Muhammad, he convert even the lizard to convert to Islam. In the same time, the lizard is the enemy of Allah. I don't know how that works. I mean, it's very hard to convert even the enemy of Allah, Mr. Lizard, to Islam. And the lizard, he took shahada. True story. And I'm sure now the lizard, when he go to heaven, Allah will make shop, shop, uh, face lifting for him. Imagine the lizard would make up. Eh. That will be something. I would like to see that. You know? So like, you you are a lizard, Mr. Lizard. Hmm? And now, you have makeup. I mean, Allah is is all possible, you know? But I, you know, like, I, I try to imagine sometime how the lizard will look like after the makeup of Allah. You know, I, I don't know. I I need to come with something. Maybe, maybe like this, I'm not sure, you know. Maybe, I'm not sure really, I don't know. I'm just guessing, you know, guessing. It's possible, it's possible for Allah to do anything He want. You know, you are a lizard now, and you are in the heaven of Allah, and Allah will do makeup for you. And, uh, oh, lizard, oh, what the heck is that? Man, that's good. Too good to be true. Yeah, you are a lizard, and you are, uh, oh, look at this, oh boy. Yeah. It's a makeup day. You know what? Are you sure that Allah is not a person who used to live in Thailand and he opened a beauty saloon? And number one customers for him are the Arab from the Gulf. To the point, if you go to Thailand, you will find every store, any, the bars, the beauty salons, anything, anything. It have, anything have to do with something not right. They have a big sign in Arabic. Big sign. Ass lifting, face lifting, breast lifting, whatever lifting, you know. May Allah lift you up and take you to heaven. You are a lizard and now you will go to heaven and Allah will make a makeup on you. Oh, look at this. This is a female lizard. Wow. That's interesting. Anyone know her number? I think I found a wife. You wake up in the morning, you look at her, and you say, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So, potato, tomato, religion. If this is religion, what is a stupidity? Do let me know. Leave your comment, and again, this is the link for our coming debate. Let me post the link for you. Uh, oh, I don't have the link. Maybe the admin can post it. Uh, let me actually take a look. Yeah, let me copy the link here. Today at 8 p.m., invite your friends. And this is the link. Go and give a like or, or you know, already. And uh, wait for the time. And uh, let us see how many of you will invite their friends. Uh, I believe it's going to be very nice, very fun. And again, when we have the debate, please behave. Uh, don't call names for the, for the guest. They are our guests. And we want to get the answers, not insult, right? We are not there to insult. So just join us, be with us at 8, <clears throat> 8 p.m. New York time, and until we see you again, I say, because I have to go, you know, the, before the, the mall close and the beauty saloon, I mean, I need it badly. I mean, I am the one who really need it. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I mean, it's time, it's time, it's time. And look, the wind will come from the north. From the north, from the north, the wind will come, and you, you become, your face will have best lifting.
and your wife she will be grifting she will say you look amazing what happened to you her face you will say to her it's time it's time for me to put you to put you in your place now i'm um, good looking and women will be fighting for me i'm sexy and you know it thank you very much the stupidity of muhammad is unlimited get your deal before it is too late take care but i mean again he, he doesn't know who gabriel is right because he didn't come from an abrahamic faith the people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him, 